So, hi everyone, welcome to Usmania Docs. I am Dr. Abhino, 2K19 batch from Usmania Medical College. So, today we have Dr. Datta Treya, who got A4432 in the recent EPG25. So, we will talk to him now. So, hi Datta Treya. Hi Abhino, sir. So, how did you start your preparation? Uh, I started my preparation after the completion of my internship. My internship got completed in the March and I started my preparation with the Marrow platform and I started uh, the rapid revision notes, mainly rapid revision notes. Initially in my internship days, I used to study the USMLE first aid book for the subjects like uh, microbiology, pathology, physiology, all are integrated. <clears throat> in rapid revision also, for short subjects, I mainly used for the rapid revision, Marrow rapid revision and for the big subjects like uh, Marrow, Medicine, Surgery and OBGY. For surgery and OBGY, I prepared myself uh, revision notes uh, at, the at the time of my final prof exams and I used the same for the, uh, the PG preparation. So, did you short subjects from Marrow re Rapid Revision Notes? Yeah, combined yeah. from the Marrow Rapid Revision Notes only. And uh, large subjects from your own, uh, your own readings? From the Marrow only, I made a short, uh, concise uh, short notebook for the OBGYN and surgery. What about medicine? Medicine, I saw dance videos, so I continued the same notes only, I revised the same content. When did you see those videos? At the time of my final year exams uh, while uh, reading for medicine, I prepared that notes also. So, when exactly did you start your preparation? Exactly for the exam? Exactly for the NEET PG preparation, I started the preparation uh, post internship. Okay. So, what is your INC rank, recent INC rank? My recent, uh, recent INC rank was uh, 4700. 4700. So, how much time, in how much time did you prepare for that INC? The gap between the uh, completion of internship and INC exam is just uh, one month. Uh. In one month, uh, I should complete the whole syllabus for uh, writing the INC. So I focused on mainly the previous year topics. As we can't read everything, we should be focusing on only what uh, they what they will ask in the exam. So I mostly depend on the previous year topics, and I focused only on the topics. Uh, somehow I could cover um, at least the most important topics by the by the time by the time of examination. So within one month, you you gave the exam for I, after after internship you gave the exam for INC and you got four thousand seven hundred. Yeah, within uh, one month, uh, I mainly focused on the important topics. I didn't read the whole content. Uh. That was very nice actually. <laughs> that was very great. So after mm -hmm. INC, how did you prepare for NEET PG? Uh, for INSET, I used a different strategy. For read PG, we have to use the we have to read uh, extra. So I initially I started uh, doing the PYQs for read PG preparation for uh, so that we can know what what topics we should focus on in particular subject. For example, in a STM, the FDM only questions uh, they will ask every time. So we must focus on that topic. So I started like that in every subject. And uh, uh, I started doing PYQs. Uh, almost I have completed the PYQs from the year 2018 till the 2024. So, what did you like? Which platform did you use for uh, PYQs? For PYQs, uh, I solely depend on the Marrow for, for my rapid revision notes and uh, for uh, doing MCQs. So, how many PYQs did you do per day? Per day, around 100 MCQs I used to do daily. Uh, MCQ is uh, uh, reading is different and solving the MCQs is, MCQs is different. Uh, we uh, we gain the knowledge by reading, but but the implementation is different. So by doing the MCQs only, we get that uh, art. Okay. So you solve 100 MCQs per day daily. Yeah. After I need it. For INSET, did you solve any MCQs? For uh, at the start of my preparation, I have done two GTs. Uh, 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 in my GTs, around uh, 100 I scored, 100, 100, 100, 100 questions I got correct. 
after that uh, i prepared for one month for one month i didn't do any mcqs but after the one month uh, i gave uh, gg's uh, two gg's and after that uh, last uh, 10 to 15 days for the exam i started solving pqs then so overall how many gg's did you give after the nsf preparation i used to give uh, gg gg every week and i used to do the error analysis for the gg for the entire day and i used to write the my errors in a error notebook and i used to revise it often whenever it is required okay how many marks did you score in score in your gg's in gg's uh, around i used to got the correct of 145 to 150 every time i used to got 145 to 150 correct questions uh, questions correct uh, I mostly lose marks in uh, short subjects like uh, ENT, Psychiatry, even though we read uh, how many times I I often make, make mistakes in those subjects. Okay. Did you focus more on those subjects afterwards? Yes, I focused on those subjects but uh, on hearing the exam, just before the exam around uh, 10 to 20 days, we should more focus on uh, big subject like uh, medicine, OBGY, surgery because these will carry the most marks so we should focus on those things those three subjects yes and what is your advice for uh, for your immediate uh, juniors or uh, immediate juniors who are about to write their exam after one year after one year they should start their own preparation uh, if they st if they if they can't uh, they can go the they can see the video lectures but our real preparation starts when when you are solving the MCQs so solving MCQs is mandatory for the uh, lead PG preparation and uh, there are many topics that you need to memorize for memorizing it's a very challenging task for me so I use the uh, mnemonics uh, for uh, the facts that need to be remembered and it helped me a lot. Uh, for subjects like the biochemistry, microbiology, so that I could uh, retain the facts. Mostly, they will ask in this subject fact based or fact based only. So I depend on the mnemonics short uh, for the mnemonics. Mnemonics by the Nikita Nanmani. She wrote a short short book. Okay. So I prepared uh, that. Okay. So what is your advice for uh, first years? First year MBBS students. From the first year, uh, you should you should start uh, reading textbooks. Textbooks is the main thing that should that you should focus on instead of uh, going for uh, uh, online platforms because it will give it will give knowledge and it will give basic idea and it will improve our thinking. So reading textbooks is important in, in case of a uh, first year, second year, and uh, in for prof exams. However, we read uh, uh, textbooks only for prof exams. So, uh, if you want to prepare at the time only for lead PG, alongside uh, you should you should uh, make a habit of sol uh, solving the MCQs at the time of uh, prof exams only. Because anyway you read the same content. Just by solving the MCQs, MCQs just one hour per day or half an hour per day, it will make a lot of change at the end. Okay, you are saying that we have to do MCQs from first year itself. Uh, first year itself, uh, anyway we read for prof exams, the, so we read the same content, just by uh, practicing MCQs it will improve us. Okay, thank you everyone, thank you Dattadriya for your valuable information. Thank, thank you. you Agnes. I... So please do like, share and subscribe our channel. We will be posting all such important information which will be helpful for you for your preparation. Thank you.